Hi everyone, this is the Gaswick for July 5th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving consecutive palindromes by Bill Murphy. We have normal Sudoku rules, 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Additionally, we have some lines in the grid. These are obviously not traditional palindromes. We can't have the same digit in these two cells because they are in the same row. Um, so rather than that, the digits in these cells must be consecutive. Same for these digits, these digits, and these digits. Any pair of digits that are equidistant from the center of a line. And those are the rules. Um, let's start with this line. The only digit consecutive with one is two. The only digits consecutive with three are two and four, but we have a two in the row, so this is a four. The only digit consecutive with nine is eight. And now the only digit consecutive with seven, that's not eight, is six, and that leaves five in the middle. Uh, we actually could have put the five in immediately um, because we had four odd digits here, and they were going to have to have four even digits to go with them. So that left the odd digit there. Um, we didn't need to use that, but could have. Uh, down here, one again must go with two. The eight can go with seven or nine, but there's seven up here, so this is nine. Five can go with four or six, but there's four here, so this is six. Four can go with five or three. This is three, and this is a seven. Uh, and you can see we're always going to end up with an odd digit in the middle of the line for these nine cells, um, because our consecutive pairs contain one odd and one even. So that's why we ended up with the last odd digit up here, but we also ended up with an odd digit here, even though we didn't have quite the same restrictions. Um, four can't go next to five here, so this must be three. The seven can't have an eight here, so this must be six. And then these remaining digits are five, eight, and nine. Two of those are consecutive. They are eight and nine, and if you know the order, this is five. Five here, we have a four in the row, so this must be six. Eight, we have a seven in the row, this must be nine. And now we are left with three, four, seven. So this must be our three, four pair with a four there. And it's a seven. So that's the outside of the grid. Uh, the two here can't go with one, so it must go with three. The four can't go with five, so it must go with three. Uh, let's look at the corner boxes before we consider these palindromes. Um, these are two, five, four, and seven. Four can only go here. Uh, not that limited otherwise. Let's look down here. These are one, five, six, seven. Uh, one of these is six, uh, and there's a six there. So one, five, seven here, two, five, seven here. Um, there are only there's only one way to make consecutive digits here, um, now that we know that. Probably something a little more straightforward here, um, but this must be one, uh, two, one, other way around. These are five and seven, but there's five there, and then that's gonna give us five, seven down here. This is nine. Finish the column. These are one, two, and eight. We know the order of those. All right, up here we need one, three, six, nine. Three and nine in the column, and the three in this row means three, nine, like that. These are one, six. Um, we know one can't go here because it would need a two, and there's already a two in the column, so this must be six. This could be five or seven right now. Um, in fact, five and seven are gonna have to go in these cells in some order, but there's a seven here. And then these are two eight. We go the order. This is a four, uh, one, five, six. Across here we have two six and eight. And one seven nine. We'll go ahead and yeah. I have all the wrong digits. Um one three nine here. That's gonna give us a nine seven there. And these are two, four, eight, two there. It's gonna give us six, four, eight. 
This row needs seven and nine. We can resolve that from the seven. That nine gives us one and nine, one and three. Here we need four, five. Five there gives us four, five, eight, eight, two. And then we get two, six, and three. Finish it off. Uh, cute puzzle. I, I like this constraint. Um, this is the straightforward version of this where it's all in the same row and you can very clearly see what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> make this a lot harder to scan with uh, more complicated lines, but um, it's a fun variant and nice classic to finish things off. I hope you enjoyed that. Let us know how you did in the comments and I will see you next time, hopefully on camera.